Welcome back to Mark Strong Edits. Today we're going to take a look at creating this classic TV static on off effect. Let's check it out. All right, so to get started, we're going to right click in the timeline and create a new solid. And we'll rename this noise. And I'm going to right click on my noise layer and choose pre-compose and make sure move all attributes is selected and we'll hit OK. I'm going to double click to open up the noise comp and with the noise layer selected, I'm going to head over to the effects and presets panel and we're going to add the fractal noise effect. All right, so we have a few settings to adjust to make this look a little bit more like TV static. So the first one, we're going to change the fractal type from basic to turbulent basic and the noise type from soft linear to block. I'm going to leave the contrast at 100, but the brightness we're going to set to about negative eight. And I'm going to click the transform drop down and move the scale from 100 to eight. And so that looks a lot more like TV static. So I'm going to hit the stopwatch on evolution. This is going to animate it. So at the beginning of my comp, I'm going to hit U real quick to bring up my keyframes. Um, so I have a keyframe at the beginning of the comp. I'm going to go all the way to the end and I'm going to set this to 90 degrees. And I want it to rotate or change the evolution 90 degrees 20 times. So let's see how that looks. Perfect. So I have about a five second comp. So that looks perfect for mine. If you have a composition longer than that, you might need to adjust these settings, but I have it rotating 90 degrees, 20 times. So 20 and 90. So now that we have our TV static created how we need it, we're going to hop over to the main comp and I'm going to create a new adjustment layer. And with the adjustment layer selected, I'm going to head over to the effects and presets panel and we're going to add the channel blur effect. So I'm going to change the red blurriness level to 25. I'm going to set the green to about three. I'm not going to do anything with the blue blurriness level, but the alpha blurriness, I'm going to change that to about 143. And then the blur dimensions, I'm going to change it to horizontal only. And so now we have our classic TV static. Now we can go ahead and start animating this. So to do so, I'm going to select the noise comp and hit S to bring up our scaling options. And then this little icon right here kind of looks like a chain almost. This is the constrain proportions button. I'm going to click that so I can individually animate the scale of the height and the width. So to make it easier, I've broken it up into three keyframes. The first keyframe, we're going to have both the height and the width set to zero. The middle keyframe, we want the width. We're going to do that. The width to be set to 100 and then the height to be set to minus two. Actually, that could really just be regular two. Um, and then as we go forward, both of them will be at 100. All right, and so now we're going to reuse these keyframes to animate the TV going off. So I'm going to hit the keyframe button to drop a keyframe as it is currently. We're going to go a couple keyframes or a couple frames ahead. I'm going to copy our middle keyframe. And then I'm going to copy our beginning keyframe and paste it here as well. So now we have our TV on and TV off. And as a finishing touch, I'm going to go into the noise comp and I'm going to right click and create a new adjustment layer. And in the effects and presets panel, I'm going to add a curves adjustment. And I'm just going to hike this up just to increase the brightness a little bit. 
And then with our masking tool, I have the box selected and I'm just gonna draw a couple masks on here in a rectangular shape. I'm just trying to create the look of the lines uh, moving vertically up the screen. So at the beginning of the comp, I'm just going to drop a keyframe for position on the adjustment layer. So I'll hit P on the keyboard to bring up my position. And I'll drop a keyframe at the beginning and I'll go to the very end. And I'm just going to move this layer up. And so now we kind of have those lines going up the screen. But that about wraps up this tutorial. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section or if there's any future tutorials you would like for me to make. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.